Hello guys! In this video, we will discuss the basic AngularJS architecture. First, let me tell you what AngularJS is. AngularJS is an open source JavaScript MVC framework. This framework is used for developing mostly single page application. Uh, AngularJS is composed of many components as we can see in the screen. One is the module. A uh, module defines an AngularJS application. It is a container for the different parts of an application. Then we have the view. View is actually the HTML or the DOME. This is what the user sees in the application. Then we have the controller. Controller is the business logic behind views. It maintains the application data and the behavior using the scope object. It controls the flow of data in the application or the routing of the views in the application. Then we have the directives. Directives are the markers on the HTML element that tell AngularJS to attach a specified behavior to that HTML element or transform the HTML element and its children. In short, it extends the HTML. Then we uh, most of the directives in AngularJS are starting with the ng-dash. For example, we have the ng-dash-up or ng-dash-init or ng-dash-model or ng-dash-controller, etc. We'll see more on this when we write codes in AngularJS in my next video. Then we have the scope. The data side scope actually is the context where the model is stored so that the controllers, directives, and expressions can access the model data. Then we have the provider. Provider is actually a configurable service. We use provider to implement complex business logic which requires configuration. Then we have a we have the factory. The factory is also a service, another service type which is simpler than provider. Like provider, it returns an object service where private methods and variables can be encapsulated. We use factory to implement complex business logic without requiring configuration. Then we have the services. The service is even uh, simpler than factory. We use, we use service to implement a non-complex or simple business logic. So guys, these are all the important concepts that we need to remember in Angular, Angular JS. In my next video, we will learn more on AngularJS, so stay tuned, keep learning, and have a nice day!